Hey guys, John from flyatmikealpha.com and today we're going to be taking a look at what the airflow is doing over the top of our wing during a stall. So here we're setting up for a power on stall, 10 degrees of flap set for departure, raising our nose up, getting slow, and we can see the stall beginning on the inner part of the wing at the wing root, working its way out, going down the entire length of the wing, and then we just lower our nose to lower the angle of attack and go ahead and start flying again. We can see that the airflow smooths out as airspeed increases and more importantly as angle of attack decreases as we just lower our nose that immediately lowers the angle of attack and the stall is over. We then raise our nose back level on the horizon and start climbing away from the ground. Once we have good positive airspeed and altitude then we go ahead and retract our flaps. Now we'll go ahead and get ourselves set up for a power off stall or an approach to a landing stall. And so we'll start by setting 10 degrees of flaps. And as we set the flaps, you'll notice a little bit of turbulence actually on those back strings there. So there's 10 degrees of flaps down. Strings starting to dance around a little bit, a little bit of turbulence. As we get some drag, there's 25 flaps, more turbulence, more drag from the flaps coming down. And here with full flaps, we see lots of turbulence on the flap, lots of drag being brought in and we're reducing power back to idle. Again, we'll see the stall begin at the wing root on the inner part of the wing and progress outward towards the wing tip. We're raising our nose up and we're gonna see those strings start to dance on the inner part of the wing and work their way all the way out. Lower the nose, lower the angle of attack. Immediately the strings go back to straight. Airflow goes back to straight over the wing. Nice smooth airflow, we're generating lift and we're out of the stall as soon as we lower our nose. Now we just have to add full power retract 45 flaps right away to 25, establish that positive rate of climb, and then sequentially raise our flaps from 25 up to 10 here, and then eventually 10 to zero. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at We'll see you all next time.